paper lovers, it's Sarah, and the Scrappy Moms have come out with a brand new stamp set and a metal die. And the metal die has two, um, two strips on it. What am I trying to say? Two shapes. It is a rickrack die and a chevron die. So it's really, really cool. And this will work in, in any kind of uh, die cutter. And the stamp set is called Lean On Me, and it's full of awesome, inspirational, encouraging sentiments. Great, great set, especially nowadays. We all need to be encouraging each other and lifting each other up. I'm going to be using this sentiment here, Choose Happiness, which really stood out to me. Um, I really, really love that sentiment. So let's go ahead and get started. I used my silhouette um, for this project. I am making a four and a quarter by five and a half size card and I have a piece of pattern paper that I'm using from this adorable bundle of joy dots and stripes by Echo Park a six by six paper pad that my crafty friend Trish sells in her store and I'm going to put a link in the description box to her store so you can check her out really awesome prices and it's really nice to support a fellow crafter so I have um, let's see my card base is made out of paper tray ink, and then I have a yellow mat that is four by five and a quarter, and then my pattern paper is um, three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp my sentiment first. I am going to use Jenny Bolin brown sugar ink. It's been my go-to ink lately, so I'm just going to ink up my sentiment here. Pull this a little closer. My sentiment is going to go, I'm probably going to get my big old head in here. Uh, right here up in the top in the corner. Okay. Let's see. Let's get this out of the way. Alright. Now I'm going to go ahead and adhere this to my mat and then adhere that to my card. Okay, so I have my card base all finished and I'm using a few different images from, um, from the Silhouette online store. The first one I'm going to be sticking down is this fence and it cuts out with two little pieces of grass. I really like this fence. I think I used it on my last card. And I sized everything at 2.645, and the number for this cut is 19663, and it's called Fence and Grass. So I'm going to go ahead and use my Zig two-way glue pen and quickly adhere this down. Okay, so my fence is all adhered down, and then I used a cut or an image called Happy Sunflower and Daisy, and it's number 39589, and it cuts out with this sunflower and a little daisy and a couple pieces of grass, and what I did was I separated the two pieces of grass, and then grouping um, everything else back together, <clears throat> excuse me, I sized all that at eight. And then I deleted the daisy and all the daisy pieces because I just wanted the sunflower. And then I put my little sunflower together. And my little sunflower is going to go down. And I didn't use all the pieces of the sunflower because I wanted to do um, my own face in the center. So I used a Peachy Keen. This is my very favorite Peachy Keen set. It's called Happy Lash Assortment. And I used... Which one did I use? I forgot. I used this one right here, and it's the three-quarter size. And I just colored in the white of the mouth and the tongue and chalked up the cheeks and added some freckles 
And then um, the other cut that I used is called Lean Flowers, and it's number 42272, and I sized them um, grouped together at 5.5, and you get two little Lean Sunflowers. Go ahead and adhere those down. This one's going to go right there. And then I mentioned that the Happy Sunflower and Daisy has two pieces of grass with it. When I separated those pieces of grass, I sized those pieces of grass individually at 1.25. And like I said, it, it there's two of them. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere those down. When I adhere um, grass onto my cards, I kind of, I don't put a lot of adhesive up at the top of the grass. I kind of like it to lift up a little bit, make it look a little bit more, um, what am I trying to say? Like, you know, like it's gives it a little dimension. And I like when it like creates a shadow on the card. I think that looks cool. So I'm sticking this down really good. And then here's my other piece. Okay, and then the last thing I'm going to stick down is just these two little pieces of grass that cut out with the fence. And I cut these in a different color green just to add a little bit of contrast. And that's my card. If you notice, I have some of the grasses kind of hanging off the card. I'm going to leave it there for now because I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this card. If I end up mailing it, I'll just trim those off. But um, that's my card for the new uh, July Scrappy Moms release. I will put a link in the description box to the Scrappy Moms blog so you can head on over there and check out all their products. Thanks, everybody, for watching, and have a blessed day.